Have you ever seen so many Nixie tubes? 16 of them, 16 Nixie tubes. They're wonderful. Look at them all, look at them all. <laughs> so what is this thing? It's a calculator. It's a Monroe 640 calculator. Now these were made by the Canon Corporation. Uh, Canon had a version and then they made uh, some versions for Monroe. Uh, that are slightly different than the uh, Canon, Canon ones. Um, but yeah, I found this on eBay the other day, and oh my goodness, I had to have it. <laughs> I had to have it. Um, it is pretty cool. You can uh, uh, do some calculations on it, and uh, it will show you a number. Now, you can adjust, like on a normal... Uh, Scientific calculator, you can set how many digits you want, and that's what this little wheel does here. So if I set it to, uh, let's say there, and I do 22 divided by 7, uh, I get 10 decimal places. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think it'll let me do 12. Let's see here. Uh, 22 divided by 7. Oh, I did 12 decimal places. Very nice. So it goes from 0 to 12. And um, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's four functions. Now, there's rumor that uh, the 650, the Monroe 650, had a square root button. Um, but they left it off at the 640, um, so as probably not to compete price-wise on this and that. Um, but I'm wondering if internally it can do square roots and all I have to do is add a key, maybe I can add like a secret little magnetic switch on the side or something um, that makes me let, let, lets it do square roots. Um, so it is pretty fancy. So let me, let me show you the layout here. It's clear or clear display. So if you're entering a number and you just hit clear display, it only clears what you've been entering. Um, it has a, uh, Oh, I'm overflowing because I have on 12 digits. So let me go back to, let me go back to four digits. Um, and if you make a mistake, you can back up. So there's a backup. Uh, there's an RV. I don't know if your calculator has an RV, which is pretty cool. Let me show you the RV function. Let's say we're going to do uh, three divided by four. Okay, we get 0.75. We go three divided by four. Oh, I wanted four divided by three. I'll reverse it. Uh, <laughs> so that's the reverse button. That's kind of weird. Uh, it just swaps numerator, denominator. Um, so there's, uh, like I said, uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide. Um, there is this button, which took me a while to figure it out. It's the constant button. And so if we put in 2 times 2... Times two, 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 times two. It's the constant button. Allows us to get some nice big numbers here. Um, let's do a clear. I'll set it for uh, zero digits. Two times two. Okay, now, how many times did I hit the button? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. That's okay. Clear it. Hit this thing here. There's a you can't really see it on camera here, but there's a little lap counter here. So um, two times two. It's just incremented by one. Okay. So so you can imagine it's uh, two to the two. So we've done that operation once. Two three. Okay. So this says fifteen. So if you uh, two to two to the fifteenth. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to get some big numbers here. It's pretty speedy. Uh, so that's to the 50th. Uh, let's see if that's right. Uh, 2 to the 50th is... Uh, no, it's 2 to the 51. You have to add 1 to that. So 2, 51. Yep, that's 2 to the 51th. <laughs> so it's 16 digits. Does this do, I don't know if this does 16 digits. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty incredible. Okay, so that's what the K, that's what the K button does. 
Now there's this funny little section over here. It's got two memories, memory one, memory two. So we could have, uh, we could say uh, 12, 25, 85. So I'm adding those into these registers and it's, um, it's 84, right? And I could go do a calculation uh, over here. Oops. Um, plus, and I can recall that other one. I guess it was 37. And then say, so you can use these as memories. There's memory one, memory two. And you can add and subtract into these memories. There are also weird functions. Um, so if I get rid of this constant thing here, if I say um, three divided by four, now I need some more decimal places. Let's go back decimal places, I'll clear these. Three divided by four equals 0.75. This light just came on. That means there's something in memory. What's in memory? Let's recall it. The three. It remembers numerators. Okay, so it was three. Okay, let's do um, uh, four divided by five. Okay, now let's go back and look at that memory. Oh, it's seven. Why is it seven? Well, it's four plus three. It, it accumulates to numerators. <laughs> I don't know why, but this thing accumulates numerators. Um, and uh, this one over here is supposed to accumulate other things. Now, I think that this switch, this switch, and this switch are not functioning correctly on this machine. And I think it's probably just a, maybe a broken wire or a diode or something on this upper row of switches. Now, all the other switches seem to operate exactly correctly, but these switches do not. This switch here is a, either when you're doing calculations, when you reach one half, do you want to round up or do you want to round down? And um, so accountants care about that, right? So uh, rounding up and rounding down, and this doesn't seem functional. And these two switches do not seem functional either. So I, I think I need, maybe need to repair those. Uh, but isn't it cool? <laughs> I'm so excited about this thing. Uh, yeah, 16 digits, 16 digits, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. There they are. Sixteen digits. And let's add one. No, nah, that gives me gives me an overflow. So if you go off, you'll get an overflow condition. Um, so yeah, it's a beauty. It is a beauty. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet. I have not opened it up yet. I'm a little bit scared, but. I'm going to have to do it sooner or later. So, uh, what's the switches on the side over here? It's got a really weird power cable. Uh, here's the back. It's very streamlined. Uh, Monroe, Monroe 640. It says, caution, disconnect power cord before opening. Oh, see, it's inviting us in. Oh my goodness, it's inviting us in. Oh, there's four screws. There's four screws. All right, all right, let me get you guys out of the way. All right, I think we want to go this way. Goodness. No. Oh, this is glorious inside here. Okay, I have to take a look. Huh. So here's the keyboard. Here's all the diode switching for the keyboard. Um, this is a funny little switch here that's a click click switch. That's for the constant. Um, it's either on or off. This is the solenoid in the lap counter that keeps track of the number of key, key clicks. Um, 
It all gets wired down here to an edge connector. And all the chips are TI. TI, it says TMC1794. This is a TMC1766. And there's something under here that I can't see. Uh, another big 440 pin jobber. Um, a ROM is missing. Maybe that's the square root ROM. I don't know. Uh, here's all the Nixies. Uh, supposedly these are like special fancy Nixies from some Japanese company. I don't remember where they came from. They're Hitachi or something. I'm not sure. Um, interestingly, the power supply has adjustments on it. That's kind of strange. I wonder if there's a brightness control for the Nixies. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Zoom you down here. Yeah. Hand laid out board, of course. This is around 1974, I think. Somewhere around in there. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This is those really old school Japanese transistors. They were a funny package. I think, I think only Japanese made those. Um, a lot of capacitors that could probably need changing in this thing eventually, but it does work. The next D seem to be a little bit on the soft side. Let's uh, swing, this, swing this around. Take a look at the back. Oh, some more, more power supply stuff back here. Yeah, let's uh, lower you down. So it's just like normal, normal power supply stuff. There's a fuse in there. Um, really old school components and stuff in there. Hmm. All right, I was taking a look at the keyboard here, and um, they're kind of hard to see, but they are reed switches and they are magnets. So these are. Moving magnet read switches for the uh, for the key, so that's very very cool. Um, the switches on the front that I I thought maybe were not working quite right, they are all separate switches and wired in. So memory one, memory two, uh, accumulate an X. Yeah, it's supposed to accumulate. I think. The, uh, numerators and accumulate denominators. I don't, th I don't think that's working quite right. There's a, a place over here which is the, uh, it says rounding off and rounding up. So things are wired. So I'm wondering if those switches themselves are dirty. They need to be contact cleaned. They're just, they've just, they don't, they don't work any longer. Those, se those separate switches, they're not these nice reed switches. They're just regular mechanical slide switches. So that could be what's going on there. There we go. Made in Japan. And I read somewhere that the board is marked Canon somewhere. Uh, and right over there in the corner of the board it says Canon. All right. That's a quick view of my new Monroe 640. It is a joy.